Hi everyone, my name is Maria and welcome to my channel. I'm a marine biologist and today I'm going to be talking about five reasons why you should become a marine biologist if you like learning and of course if you love the ocean. Next week I will be talking about five reasons why you shouldn't become a marine biologist. But let's start positive. These are the five reasons why you should become a marine biologist. The adventure. One of the reasons why I personally wanted to be a marine biologist was because of all the adventures that you get to have at sea. Personally, I actually thought that most of the job was only adventure. It isn't. It's only a very small part of being a marine biologist. However, it is still present. We do go on field work. We do have the opportunity to go sample sometimes around the world. Sometimes, depending on where you work, it's not so far from where you work. Sometimes you just sample in your country or in the vicinity of your lab. However, it still allows you to have some kind of sense of adventure and be in touch with the ocean, be in touch with nature. Adventure is present in this profession, even though it is not usually the adventure portrayed by the media. Marine biologists are not always at sea in like in remote places around the world, but you do have the possibility of traveling and going to new places, meeting new people, and have some sense of adventure. And I personally really love that. It's challenging. This part, maybe for some people, is a con, but for me, is personally a pro. When you work in this field, you are constantly being challenged. And for me, that's a, a source of motivation. The fact that you are constantly learning new things and doing new things and having to learn new things to be able to go forward. This challenge personally is something I love and one of the reasons why I really like science in general. Science and, and biology is all about figuring out new things and asking new questions. You're constantly challenging your knowledge, the knowledge that already exists, and you're constantly challenging your abilities. And with that, you are constantly learning and evolving. And I think that is an amazing thing in this job. Diversity. When people ask me how my day looks like, like how a day in the life of a marine biologist look like, looks like, it's very hard for me to describe one typical day because it varies so much. There are days in which I am the whole day in the lab. There are days in which I'm in the whole day in front of the computer. There are days in which I am half in the lab, half in the computer. Then there are weeks or months that I'm in the field. And even when I'm in the field, there are days in which I'm the whole day sampling. And then there are other days in which I'm half the day sampling, half the day at the computer. Sometimes I'm also in the lab. So it's just a big mix of things. <laughs> Marine biology is definitely not a profession that is based on routine. Of course, you do have more routine type tasks if you have an experiment going on and you need to sample let's say every day at a certain time or you need to have this protocol done several times you have this type of routine in which you can plan you have to plan your experiments but you know that you're not going to only be doing these experiments for the rest of your life of being able to sometimes analyze data sometimes go, be in the lab sometimes write, sometimes read research papers, and sometimes just go out in the field and sample is something that I really, really appreciate. And it also makes you learn a lot. Number four, the people. Marine biology is universal. And because of that, you end up pe meeting people from completely different backgrounds, from different countries, from different educational backgrounds, social backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, just a ton of diverse people. People who many times have the same interests as you, people who you really connect very well because of that or just because you connect very well. That's what happens with sometimes with people. You meet very passionate people about their work and there's nothing more motivating than listening to someone who's passionate about their work talk about their work. That's why I personally love conferences because I come back, usually come back from conferences full of new ideas and super motivated to come back to my work and, you know, just do more. In, in conferences, you usually see other researchers present their work and you can tell so many of them are so passionate about what they do that this passion is, is, is contagious and you bring it back with you when you 
you know, leave the conference and get back to your own work. I've just met some amazing people in, in this in marine biology, passionate people about science, passionate people about protecting the ocean, just people with a lot of passion. And that's something that I like and it's really motivating and it's something that really helps you keep motivated even when you're not. Number five, it can be extremely rewarding. Marine biology can be rewarding in several ways. As a scientist and as a researcher, there is nothing more satisfying than finding something out that you know no one has ever found out. Even if it's something ridiculous that no one cares about, it's still your baby. After going through all the hard work, a lot of frustrations, a lot of failures, when you finally get those results and you analyze them and they make sense, or when you finally overcome a problem that you've been working so hard to overcome, it, it's just a, a feeling of, you know, a, of, of happiness and of joy. <laughs> and it's, it's extremely rewarding. If you work, for instance, in conservation, it, I can only imagine how rewarding it is when you see that your work has finally helped conservation of a species or of the ocean. I've personally never worked in conservation, but I can only imagine that that's also a very re rewarding feeling. If there's any person out there who ha is working in conservation, please let us down, know down below whether or not what I'm saying is true. If you know that your research is being used for the purpose of of protecting the environment and helping the oceans or an animal or an habitat, whatever it is, I can only imagine that being an amazing feeling. And even if you don't accomplish any of these things, uh, it's still rewarding it, when you're learning. There's something so gratifying when I sit down and I read through papers and I start connecting dots between what I'm reading and my own research. Even if it's nothing necessarily special. I just end up, the, the, just the process of learning is so rewarding. And personally, I think that. Maybe not everyone thinks that. Maybe not everyone appreciates learning as much as I do. But if you do, if you're watching this video, I guess most of you do, it is a job that if you're passionate about can bring you a lot of joy into your life. These are the five reasons why you should become a marine biologist if you love the ocean and if you love learning. So if you want to watch more ocean slash marine biology related content, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share this with someone who's maybe thinking about marine biology as a career. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you are interested in becoming a marine biologist, why? what moves you, what is the thing that makes you want to be a marine biologist, and if any of the things that I told you is one of them. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!